Okay, so now it's time to talk about what the only strategy really is all about. So, the premise of the strategy is simple. It says that you should only choose to serve customers that might think of you as their only choice, that have the potential to think of you, your brand, as their only choice. And then, as you find, as you discover and learn about these customers, which I call the ideal customer, you will use all your energy, all your creativity, your imagination, your discipline to create a total brand offering for these people that they will not be able to resist. You're going to create massive value for a very highly selected group of people. Now, that's the only way that you can create the most value. The idea with the only strategy is about focus. It's about really super focus, zooming in on a very narrow target and becoming the only choice for those people. And you know, there is an exact formula for how you're going to do that and that's something we're going to dive into in a little bit. But before we go there, I still want to share a little bit about, you know, how this works because, you know, I know that when people hear about this strategy, they feel like, oh, hmm, that's quite simple. But at the same time, you know, you might be worrying about, you know, what this would really mean for your business. So, first of all, you know, to really execute this idea, you're going to have to choose who to serve. And that also means choosing what you're not going to do, who you're not going to serve. And that can cause a little bit of pain. But as I said, like if you look at the greatest brands on the planet, that's really how they got to where they are. They did not serve too many customers. They did not become mediocre. So another question that I know that some of you might be thinking, especially if you're working for a more established business or a brand, uh, you know, you're not starting out, you're not trying to create your first brand or business. It might be this question about, you know, okay, this is all well and good. This is good for when you start, but it, does it work when I'm a bigger business? So the answer is yes, it does work for you. Like, let me illustrate how you can use it to get back on track, to get, you know, clear about your positioning, about who you exist for and, uh, and how that's going to, you know, reinvigorate your whole business. So, you might remember this story when Steve Jobs, you know, came back to Apple in 1997. So, he was first ousted from the company that he built in 1985 and then he went on to build Pixar and he went on to build, uh, you know, Next Computer and he did a lot of other cool stuff that made him a multi-billionaire many times over. And then he came back to Apple and the first thing he did, you know, he looked at the product portfolio and he realized that Apple had been slipping into mediocrity. And what I mean by that is they had become so similar to all the other PC brands that there wasn't really any excitement there anymore. And Apple had lost touch with their, you know, core customer group, their ideal customers. And so what happened was he came in and he killed almost all the products and particularly the ones in the pipeline. There were so many different products in the pipeline. There were so many different products on the market. And basically, he just kept a handful. And you know, even today, that Apple only basically sells a handful of products. So he, you know, created the iMac, the iPod, and all these ingenious new products. But he did that by focusing their whole, you know, the whole effort of the company on simplifying and creating great products for people who really love them. So he didn't abandon these ideal customers, or which I will be talking about as the power base, those best customers that he could possibly have that will root for you and they will buy more, more often at higher prices. I call that the power base. You're going to learn all about it in, a, in the next module. But that's what he did and that's where you can refocus your company. You can go back to any size organization and use the only strategy and it will help you get back on track and build a highly differentiated, well-positioned brand and business. So that was that for this session. In the next session, we're going to continue. This is the strategy. Like these were the big ideas, the concept behind the only strategy. And now we're going to jump into, you know, the formula 
because there is a formula that you will apply to build your own only choice brand.